Yo, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I believe artists should control their own destiny. One thing is image. That's super helpful for that. So today we're going over Rihanna, five tips to com get complete image freedom. Guys, this will be helpful for you, too. Just stay put, and you'll see why. Remember this girl right here? We don't have her anymore. If you remember, when she did Rihanna, good girl going bad, she started to break free of that good girl image. But she wasn't completely free this time. I'll go over why lately. But here's a quote. I was sick of listening to what everyone wanted. She knew at that point, intentionally, intentionally, she wanted to break free. Remember this girl right here? Britney Spears, if you don't know, she had, she's a sweet little white girl. And then she came out with, I'm a slave and started to get all sexualized and things like that. But sex, it's not freedom. And we'll go over that later as well. Look at Beyonce. Look at the top. She's, you know, this younger girl and she has this innocence to her. Even in the Crazy in Love video at that time, it was more of a womanliness, but she couldn't do certain things, right? You can't imagine Beyonce doing things that Rihanna would do. Not at all. But look at this picture at the bottom. This is more recent. She's got this masculine energy. She is freer. It's a little bit sexualized. This picture from Drunken Love is a lot more sexualized. But Beyonce more so used her marriage and her motherhood as a way of saying, obviously, I have sex. Um, this is who I am. I'm all facets of a woman. I am not just this one-sided good girl. I should be able to express that in my art. But she's still not free. So let's hop into why and go get it, over, ah, <laughs> get it going. Number one, fashion. Rihanna did very well, um, and she's super diverse in what she wears. You can't put one image on her. Why? Because she's wearing anything from the highest of fashions to the hood type clothes, right? And you can even imagine Rihanna in some kind of state dinner with the president. And you can also imagine her smoking a blunt in the hood at a strip club. I went. I used to be like this. Now I'm like this. Perfect example. I mentioned the blunt. Here we go. Rihanna loves to smoke. Look how she's smiling at that thing. Boy, it's like a little teddy bear. Like she want to hug it or something. But transparency, right? And it's not about the drugs, actually. It's really about having confidence, so much confidence and being so open with people about your good and your bad. Not being afraid to share your flaws, understanding that they're there and just being transparent at it. In short, I don't give a fuck. But it's not that kind of I don't give a fuck where you want people to think you don't give a fuck because everybody can tell you really don't give a fuck. And that doesn't work at a high level when you have a lot of people know you like Rihanna because no one likes that person. You can tell it's fake. So another person who did it well was Rihanna, not Rihanna Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana. She used to obviously be this kid star. And a lot of people who did this, they were kid stars. They have to break three free and become more womanly. Miley Cyrus can't be tamed. That's her version of good girl gone bad. But she wasn't free here like Rihanna wasn't with good girl gone bad. She started to become free in 2013. A lot of that work that Rihanna put in over maybe 10 years, Rihanna didn't. I mean, Miley Cyrus did in a shorter time. Shocking. She cut that hair. Rihanna cut her hair for good girl gone bad. And that's just a, one common thing that represents freedom for women because we have this whole show of naked society where we kind of tag them with long hair means you know, pretty and all that kind of stuff. And then she has this tongue out Michael Jordan, MJ fadeaway image where it's not really sexy. And that's the point, right? She has this tongue out and it's, it's kind of weird and it's kind of off. But that kind of shocking imagery is what gets you there. She has this iconic wrecking ball image where you can see she's free. She's not thinking about what, what you care about. It's not what you expect and it's not sexual at all. She's naked, but it's not sexual. And that's the point. It's not sexy but raunchy or even not in raunchy is not even the perfect word but it's not about painting yourself particularly for a woman as this sexualized being that's an that ends up becoming objectified by a man because that creates a box and you'll see why really so when i go a little bit deeper into that with somebody else it's about being a person who acts freely so example it's an extreme but imagine rihanna fucking jay-z you wouldn't necessarily put it past jay-z well oops my bad my bad jay-z you wouldn't put it past rihanna Right. If Rihanna fucked Jay-Z, you kind of think about the fact that she's so free. You could you could see her doing that, but you could also see her giving money to kids like poor kids. And it's not that you think she would do it, but it's about expectation. It's not about what you want to do, but what people expect you to do. When people can literally see her doing something that's dirty, you know, but also doing something that's so nice and like giving kids money and all that kind of stuff then you have this ultimate freedom, right? Because people 
expect anything from you. They wouldn't be surprised if you did anything. But then that also leaves them wondering what is there that you could do next. And now all they could do is watch, which is what the path goes like with Rihanna. People don't really put anything past her. So they always have to see her next move. And she ends up being able to break free and become an innovator with everything she does because you never knew she's not predictable. Think about somebody like Janelle Monet on the other hand. Yes, she went against the grain and she's awesome. But she came out with this image of wearing these pantsuits. And if she got really sexual in her imagery, her core fans that really started to like her would be in an uproar because they think, oh, now she's selling out. Same thing to SZA, right? She had this nice, cool, chill homegirl image, not really caring about this uh, Hollywood life type thing going on. But if she started to become real poppy in her music and or her imagery, her core fans that like her now would call her a sellout or something. And then look at Kim Kardashian, right? She's naked. What's new? There's pictures of like her legit naked online. I could put those up here. I don't want to get it reported. But the point is, you ca- she cares so much. And when people care that much and they're showing you their body and this naked, like, it's almost like they're asking for your attention. And that point right there, you can tell that they are not free. Showing your body, being sexual is not freedom. Madonna. That's freedom. Uh, she did this great in the 80s. Erica Badu is another person I didn't mention. She, she's free. Chris Brown, uh, he broke free. Now he's a lot more free because he got this bad boy image that he painted for himself. Because I guess he didn't want to be that innocent guy like he was before the whole situation with Rihanna. Because once you do that and you do anything wrong, people start to go, hey, and they get mad at you. R. Kelly did the same thing, right? He went from my mind telling me no all the way to I believe I can fly and all that kind of stuff. So you have this sex image and then you have this gospel image and you can do anything in between what can people expect from you anything bad guys and girls can do anything perfect people must stay that way and that is the trap think about the fact that taylor swift she has such a good girl image she can't do the stuff that rihanna does even if you don't like her think her think about how her fans who do like her would react right think about pastors now this guy went a little far himself but Think about a pastor just doing some regular wrong stuff, some regular people stuff, like maybe, I don't know, lying, cheating on his girl, whatever. People would blow that out of proportion in comparison to a normal person because of their image. They're supposed to be perfect. But that's about it. Hopefully some of that stuff was helpful for you. Subscribe. Have a great one. Be cool.